hello everyone so welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to be talking about how to find the thickness of the tubing that you are going to use for the frame of your vehicle so as you can see on the screen there is this frame that i am working on and it's not complete as of yet but i'll tell you the strategy that i used to have the thickness of the tubing that i need to use i use it as a good starting point not to say that when you find the thickness you do not have to do the fea analysis to find the uh, if your vehicle uh, vehicle frame is safe or not in crash uh, simulations or if it has enough torsional rigidity or not for whatever cornering purposes or whatever purpose of that vehicle may be so I just use this method as a reference and obviously we can do multiple iterations of this process to find the base optimum uh, thickness that is needed for a tubing and of also it comes down to the fact that what is readily available in the market. So if the thickness comes out to be 16 millimeters or something maybe you are not going to find that in the market you have to find the closest one that is available in the market maybe you are going to find something which is like 15 millimeters for example and then you have to use that formulations to calculate the stress generated overall and then do the FEA simulation with the crash test and if you have enough factor of safety in your frame or if you need to alter your frame to have the frame which is safe enough for the purpose of the vehicle. I hope you get an idea. So let's get started. I have made this simple spreadsheet so that we can uh, go through it really quickly and understand what concept I use for finding the thickness. So as you can see on the top left corner, uh, I have mentioned the flexural formula which is sigma by y is equals to m by i. So sigma over here as you all know is the stress generated in the tubing. y is the distance from the center of that center or the axis of the tubing to the outside uh, part of that uh, circular tube. M is the moment generated in that uh, particular tube because of whatever load conditions and I is the moment of inertia. So here I have multiple values for 10 inches, 20 inches factor of safety and weight and everything. So for now we can just ignore this one. The other formula what I have is for calculation of the moment. So maximum moment in a cylindrical tubing is given by WL by 4. W is the weight of the weight or the load that is being applied on the tube. L is the length of the tube divided by 4. The formula down below is pi by 2 times R1 to the power 4 minus R2 to the power 4. R1 over here stands for the outer radius. R2 stands for inner radius. So, and this is how I have calculated few values over here. But coming over here, if you look at look into this box and not focus on anything else, so I have factor of safety. If I increase or decrease this value, the thing va other values dependent on the factor of safety will change as well. But factor of safety essentially what we do is like when you see this formula over here and moment is equals to WL by 4. So I have assumed over here the weight of the engine and the driver combined to be 100 kgs and multiplied by 10 obviously because we want to convert it into newtons. So I use 10 and not 9.8 for simplification of the calculation. So we have 1000 newton over there. So either you can multiply the factor of safety with the weight itself or you can divide it by the stress over here. So the stress generated is like lower over here or the capability of the stress is lower. So that's why as you increase the factor of safety, the amount of moment or the magnitude of the moment increases. Now, when you change the moment, now the factor of safety is the same, but when I'm changing the moment, the stress value decreases or increases. As you can see, if I increase the moment value, that means that the stress generated is increasing in this particular tubing. Now, when you look at Y, Y is, as I already said, is the distance from the center axis of the tubing to the outermost part of the tubing. That is essentially half of the 
uh, out um, like or we can essentially say outer radius so when i change this one this is the radius outer radius essentially this should be the same but you get the idea i have made an error over there but r1 as i increase the value of r1 and keep r2 same that increases the thickness as you can see over here the thickness increases and the moment of inertia value also increases as it suggest it is suggested by the formula over here if i decrease this value that is reducing the thickness the stress value increases as you can see like i'll show you to you guys again i'm increasing the inner radius thereby decreasing the thickness and you can see the stress value is higher now the other thing what we can do is we can calculate it the other way around as well we can apply a thickness or assume a thickness like over here uh, as you can see so when i'm increasing this value you look over here the value of t is increasing or decreasing i'm sorry and as the value of t is decreasing so this is calculated in the sense that when the outer radius is increased the this is we are calculating in terms of the stress which is capable so for example if you are using aluminum 6061 and if you are using a factor of safety of let me see what factor of safety i have used over here the moment y this thing and d23 okay got it then over here this one and this one yeah okay yeah so as we increase i guess factor of safety is eight right now yeah oh sorry so as we reduce the factor of safety va value the thickness also decreases like less thickness is needed because essentially it's calculating here the input is 370 yeah as you can see over here 370 and d23 so d23 i guess this one yeah so right now we have the same value over here essentially so whenever if you take 370 mm, mpas as the stress value and if you divide it by 2 as a factor of safety for our 3 in this example right now that means that you are lowering the capacity or simulating using factor of safety that essentially the maximum capacity of the stress for our tubing is not 370 but 370 divided by 3 that is around 126 something I, I cannot calculate it on top of my head but 125 mm MPA so when your tubing is less capable of stress that means you need to have more thickness so that's what's going on so you can use either of these strategies you can assume a weight and then apply a factor of safety to it and then calculate the thickness obviously for this thickness maybe you need to find maybe you can find something this thick maybe you cannot and then like you have to reverse engineer what is available in the market maybe you have to change material depending on the application and like what the purpose of the vehicle is and the most important factor obviously safety is the important factor when we are designing but if safety is the most important factor obviously we can use the most expensive material and manufacture our frame using that but we can obviously not do that because we can go and use titanium but titanium is like very expensive and it doesn't make sense manufacturing process will be expensive cost of procurement will be expensive and that's the main engineering challenge the first thing that we have to keep in mind while designing anything any product is the cost of the product i hope you guys understood the concept that i'm using and obviously this is not a replacement for finite element analysis we still have to do that we this is just a basic information how to find the thickness of the tubing that we need thickness of the tubing that we need and from there on we can 
make our frame, do the FE analysis. If it fails, then maybe we can obviously alter the structure. If not, then maybe we can add or reduce the thickness of the tubing that we need or change the material of our tubing. I hope you guys understood the concept. If you guys have any questions, comments or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, please leave your video, your video idea suggestions of what next videos you want me to make, next topics you want me to make videos on, and um, I'll happy to serve you guys on those topics. And thank you so much guys for listening, and I'll see you all in the next video.